Hi everyone. Just a short little video today. Nothing really special. Oh, a nice cool day. It's just the way I like it. So, um, look at that awesome view. It's just nice to actually be out on the bike. Well, I haven't been out on the bike now in about a week. Uh, quite surprised that the battery actually managed to get the bike started. Normally after about the third or the fourth day I've I've got to start the bike and take it for a run just to charge the battery um, but yeah I was quite surprised this is probably a good day for going hiking though because it's cooler um, I wouldn't mind doing a hike but I'd rather wait for my dual sport bike and go hit some of the, uh, the off-roads I want to make a quick stop by the uh, bike shop and just find out what's happening with that XT600 of mine because it's sort of getting a little bit irritating now that uh, we sort of hit like a stagnation point in this bike's build up and it's it's basically completed and we've still got that issue that it's not starting when it's hot Uh, if there's anybody out there who knows a bit about XT600s and XR bikes and the old school thumpers, you know, the kickstart models, um, maybe you can give me your two cents worth. I've done so much research on the internet and everything that everybody's pointed towards like valves and carbs, we've already checked all that stuff and it's just not working. And uh, the, the bike's engine has been rebuilt over by a master engine builder. Um, the stator has been rewound and he's also renewed the coil. Um, so it's just it's so difficult to imagine why this bike just cannot start when it's warm. It starts if it lies for two days and it's nice and cold and it'll start with the first or the second kick. But after that it just it doesn't do anything and that's really really starting to get to me now because I got plans man I got plans I got uh, I want to get out there I want to have some fun and it's also going to be used as my commuter bike because I'm, I'm putting too many kilos on my CBR guys and you know it's just it's not fair to this to this bike If I get the problem resolved, then that's fine. But I'm really off two minds. I, I really don't know whether I should just keep the bike and see the project through or just sort of cut my losses and just get rid of it and get something else, uh, something a little bit more reliable. I don't know. That's something I'm going to have to think about. The problem is, it can be something so small that you can have fixed, that it's probably staring at you right in the face and you, you just don't see it. And I've had problems like that before and then you can kick yourself afterwards and say, well damn, I should have kept the bike. Um, but yeah. I need to go and fill up. Jeez, I think I'm running low. Shit, I think this is an armored car in front of me. Uh, like one of these cash in transit vans. Man, you know in South Africa they actually hit these vans. And uh, that's why I'm always a little bit nervous whenever there's a cash and transit van around. 
because you could get caught up in some gunfire and some shit and uh, that's not cool but we really haven't had any problems out here by us it's mostly in the bigger cities and Joburg and all those places but man, you never know Starting to rain in this motherfucker. Oh boy. It's amazing, they never really forecast rain for today. This is the part about living in the overboard. Is that you don't know how to dress. You know, you don't know whether you can bike or not. You might get caught in rain. Okay, let's 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 be honest. This rain is fuck. Okay, it's nothing. But um, and it's over. Wow, that was just like. Oh, let's get the windscreen wiper going. 